Real view appearances in SolarWorks 2011 have been enhanced to give you full control over how they look, so you're no longer limited to the default materials. As well as being able to control the colour, you can also control the diffuse lighting and specular highlight, as well as the amount of reflections, and even make the reflections blurred to get that satin finish look. If you're using photo view, you can also turn the object into a light. Some new surface finish types make the possible combinations of material properties almost limitless, making your models look fantastic. Decals, once only available to PhotoWorks users, are now available to everyone, so you can get great looking models with labels using just real view in SolidWorks Standard. And now they also support the alpha channel in the image, so any transparency information in the file will be used to show the model faces through the decal. Of course, with the interactive on-screen editing, it's easy to get the decal looking just right. Just like the appearances, you get full control of how the decal will look, from full solid colour to reflective metallic labels. Once you've got it looking just right, we can go ahead and render it. Users of SolidWorks Professional and Premium have always enjoyed being able to create photorealistic renderings for presentation and marketing purposes. However, many did not realise the full potential of PhotoWorks and found it difficult to create good quality images in a reasonable amount of time. So SolidWorks introduced PhotoView360 to address these issues. It's extremely easy to use and extremely fast. In SolidWorks 2011, PhotoView360 no longer runs as a separate application is completely integrated into SOLIDWORKS. You can preview exactly how the final rendering will look and make changes to your SOLIDWORKS model on the fly. If you change the orientation of your model, the preview updates, and because it is what's known as a progressive renderer, you don't have to wait until it's finished updating the preview before making any further changes. For example, if you wanted to experiment with different material types, you simply drag and drop them onto your model as you would do normally and the preview will update to reflect the change. Likewise, if you wanted to change the scene, this also shows up in the preview window so you know exactly what you're going to get. There's a new tab on the feature manager called the display manager. It groups together all the visual properties such as appearances, decals, scenes, lights and cameras. You can use the cameras to view your scene and the perspective and depth of field are set there too. Let's do one final scene change and place this blender in the right environment, a kitchen. Shouldn't really be on the floor so let's make some modifications to the scene and place it on the countertop. A great addition here is to be able to individually control the brightness of the background, the model itself and also how much the model reflects its surroundings, so no need to add extra lights or adjust the brightness later in image editing software. Looks great on a projector too. And yes, I do have two blenders. PhotoView360 will now use lights from SolidWorks too, so to make this image a little bit more realistic we can simulate the sunshine coming through the window lighting the blender, casting shadows and adding glare as well. When all the setup is done you can hit the final render button which will run as a separate application so you can carry on working in SolidWorks whilst PhotoView360 is rendering. Finally, no presentation will be complete without an animation. Not only is PhotoView360 fully integrated into SolidWorks but we've also added a bunch of extra stuff too to make renderings fast easy and enjoyable.